you know, it's, it's much like a dark hallway where you, you just don't have lights that are turned on for you and you don't know what the future is going to be, be bringing you. Attorney Albert Watkins describes the moment he was diagnosed with tonsil cancer. I went home and, and uh, shared the, the, the news with my wife. I had a six-month-old at home and uh, three other children. Um, and it was, uh, it was a very difficult time. But battling cancer was only part of the worry. For patients with head and neck cancer, incisions in the face can be disfiguring and can lead to problems with swallowing or speaking. And as a uh, lawyer who, who tries cases and gets in front of a judge and a jury, the absence of a voice would obviously uh, put a real crimp in that. But a technique perfected at the Siteman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine is helping to save lives and preserve quality of life. It's called transoral laser microsurgery. The recovery is much improved because we are not doing as much surgery. Dr. Bruce Hoey says traditionally the removal of cancerous tumors in the head and neck involved open surgery with side effects that could include scars and an altered ability to eat and speak. We used to dismantle the neck or the jaws or the tongue or the throat to get to the tumor. In other words, we would make incisions on the outside and we would go down layer by layer, separating muscles and then going through skeletal structures to actually reach the throat. With transoral laser microsurgery, or TLM, there are no external incisions. Instead, doctors use microscopes and lasers to remove those tumors, entering the body through the mouth and nose. We're using microscope to get very high magnification and very precise control of the tumor margins, which translates into better cancer control. Researchers at Siteman Cancer Center are now looking to TLM in the removal of larger tumors. A recent study here shows promising results. And what we found in that study uh, is that we have uh, achieved a 92 percent disease-specific survival rate for, um, for stage 3 or 4 oropharynx cancer. Now we're delighted with this result because we don't see these numbers for, from chemo radiation studies, for example. Five years post-surgery, Albert Watkins is glad to be among the survivors. Plus, he had no side effects post-surgery that might have altered his ability to speak and thus his career. The laser surgery that I had was uh, remarkably uh, non-problematic. Uh, the throat was a little sore afterwards and there was problems swallowing. Uh, the the overall recovery occurred, you know, you know virtually uh, virtually immediately. It's, it's uh, five years later. I'm I'm uh, paying my bills. I go out and eat dinner every now and then, and I've got a new baby due any any day. It's estimated there are about 29,000 new cases of head and neck cancer diagnosed each year in the United States.